Sims 4 Expansion Pack Trailer Day and I'm gonna be reacting to it. Today we're finally gonna figure out, are we getting farming? Are we getting fairies, cars? Like there are so many theories going on out there. I just wanna know the truth. I started trying to debunk this one and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait and see what the trailer has and let that speak for itself. Honestly, good job to the Sims team for not letting this one leak. I'm gonna be reacting to and breaking down the new Sims 4 Cottage Living Expansion Pack. So without further ado, this is my reaction to the new trailer for The Sims 4 Cottage Living. Will someone tell me why before every single Sims trailer I get nervous? Like my adrenaline is pumping right now. There are also over 27,000 people waiting to watch this. This is insane. Like the chat, I have just been watching this chat fly. It is so crazy. Sims community comes through, I must say. The hype is real. Honestly, this whole like two minute thing they pull doesn't help the nerves. Also peep the title, a little bird told us a new pack is coming like, if we don't get chickens, I swear. And bunnies, I think bunnies also. I want bunnies and chickens. 10 seconds. Ah, oh, how beautiful. This looks so pretty. Bird poop, a bunny. Oh my God, can the birds poop on you? Cottage living, it's called cottage living. Oh my God, the rabbits have sweaters on. How cute is this? Look at that little village. Agnes Crumblebottom, the one and only, of course. There's a cow. I saw a cow. I saw animals. This is really so cute. I can't wait to make all these cottages. Okay, you're watering crops. We're getting farming. A llama? Are we getting llamas? And chickens? The chickens all have sweaters on. I'm dying. What are you, what are you making there, sir? Oh my God, what is um that hobby called? Foxes, there's so many animals. Oh, that fox better stay the heck away from that bunny, I swear to God. Oh my God, there's so many animals. Pumpkins. Oh, I want my eggs to hatch and cows. I, this is everything I dreamed. Then, okay, I don't, I can't tell if that's country kitchen in the background, that kitchen set that we already have, the kitchen kit, picnic set. The freaking bunnies, I cannot. This is like the cutest expansion pack I have ever seen. Look at the world. The new cast looks cute. Kind of serving like medieval vibes a little bit. I am very impressed. Okay, it looks like you can have like a vegetable growing contest. And maybe like a little marketplace or something. Oh my God, that one had a hat on. Oh my God. Can the chickens fight you? Okay, this is like, I feel like I'm not even watching a Sims trailer right now. Feed your soul and your chickens with life. Oh! Wait a minute. R rideable scenic commuting bicycle? July 22nd, I cannot wait that long. I gotta go back and watch this again. Oh my. Goodness, hold up. Okay, <gasps> there were so many animals. Okay, I need to go back and like read that little last part. I kind of like want to watch this again. What are you doing with a cow here in this scene? He's holding like a cowbell. Also, this cow is rainbow. I'm trying to like peep everything in this pack. It looks like maybe new wallpaper in the back there, mushroom decor, like landscaping. Look at this little bunny at the bottom. I didn't even notice that. That's so cute. Okay, wait, I wanted to see that little end scene. <laughs> Okay, this. Bye bye September 22nd to get Gnome on the Go bonus content. Wait a minute. I thought this was all connected with the pack, but bye bye September 2nd to get Gnome on the Go bonus content. I have never seen them do this before. This is like extra content that you get if you buy the pack like early, obviously. So you get a rideable scenic commuting bicycle. You get the Onward, the adventurous Gnome statue, like, okay. And then you also get Bramblewood's delightful tree. I like the tree. I mean, I'm gonna buy it early, so I'll have this stuff. I'll show you guys when we get it. Interesting. I don't know. I don't think I like how they do that. I don't think I like that. It's like you kind of just put out so many different packs and like expecting people to like jump on this right away. I don't know. I don't think I like that. Anyway, let's go back. I'm guessing this is a whole new like creative sim outfit. Those look like new shoes, maybe a new dress. I'm wondering if we get bridges. I see a bridge there. There's a bridge in the back shot behind there. This dress is really cute. Looks like maybe a new roofing texture. These are like weird new like roofing things going over top of the windows. I'm kind of on board with that. I mean, I love to build cottages. I think they end up looking really cute and peaceful. 
cool. In the back here, we've got a little like water wheel. That's really cute. This world, this world looks beautiful. Windenburg is my favorite world in The Sims 4 and seeing this come to life in like a little market. This looks like a market square or something. Maybe you can come here and like, they'll probably have different like pop-up shops and stuff. I like that. And obviously the iconic Agnes Crumplebottom is making a reappearance in this new Sims expansion pack. Yeah, that is definitely like a new roof detail or something. Okay, and then in the background, I'm gonna move my camera just real quick so I can show you where the chickens live. I think these are gonna be like pre-made objects. So I see a cow, we've got the chickens and the llamas. I'm assuming these are like their little like coops or like where they're gonna live. This looks like maybe a new terrain paint. I love that the bunnies are wearing sweaters. In terms of crops that you can grow, I know that we got pumpkins and I think I saw eggplants before. I'm so excited to get a llama. Like that is so iconic. Have we had llamas in a Sims game before? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is gonna be like a new hobby. That's cute. Look at this little backpack. I wanna see that backpack in the back there. Oh wait, I gotta go back. I wanna see more of the build and buy. In the back, I think this looks new. That wallpaper is definitely new. That looks like a cute little like wall clock up there. Love that. Looks like a very like homey pack. Oh my God, I'm gonna live for this. Those guys, those little foxes better like stay away. I swear, if you can like cause any mischief there, my friend. Wait, I wonder if they can like, remember in like previous Sims games, you would have like raccoons breaking into your garbage and stuff. I wonder if foxes can do that. This is a Adorable. I can't wait to hatch some chickens. Like, how can you be mad at this pack? I don't know. I just get like the cutest vibes, like just happy times, little picnic basket. Yeah, this world looks really pretty. The buildings look okay. I wonder if you can live in any of these. That looks like a shop over to the left. This looks like a bar. I'm definitely down for a new like outdoor patio pub. That's cute. And I like this idea, like a little competition. Okay, so you can grow watermelon as well. Eggplants, yes. Uh, what the heck is that? Like a yam? <laughs> I love how the birds just pick on that poor lady. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I like this pack. I'm glad they're doing like the cottage living thing. I thought it was gonna be like countryside or like whatever. They're very much going for like a cottage core vibe, which I like. I like building cottage core stuff. Um, the gameplay, I think it's gonna be really cute. I thought they were just gonna add like chickens and bunnies. I'm glad they added like extra animals. Cows, I did not expect. I didn't expect llamas either. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm excited. I want to see more definitely before I like give my final overview. The create a sim items in this new Sims 4 cottage living expansion pack. Don't know if I'm gonna be all over them in like my regular gameplay. We'll see. Farming is something that we've wanted in the Sims community for a little while. I know a lot of people were kind of like hoping for it. So let me know what your thoughts are on this new Sims 4 cottage living expansion pack. I don't know why I didn't guess cottage living. But anyway, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm gonna be answering comments. We are gonna talk about it, hype it up. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my trailer reaction for the new Sims 4 cottage living expansion pack and I'll see you in the next video.